Civil War history right in the palm of my hand. Really? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Hey guys and gals, so I am back in the field I was in in the last video where we were finding the three ringers and some of the older stuff. Uh, I decided to come back today and see if I could pull out a couple more mini balls. Uh, no mini balls yet, but got this really cool handmade uh, lead sinker here. You can see the hole at the top up there. But yeah, we're right on a creek, so this makes a lot of sense to find something like this. And if we're finding three ringers here, maybe the soldiers camped, fished for a little bit, um, you know, took a break, got some water, whatever, what have you. But uh, yeah, this is really cool. This is this is a unique relic. It's one of a kind. Somebody made this. I love it. That's awesome. We'll see what else we can come out of. Uh, get to come out of this field. I mean, it's just uh, it's all kinds of targets here. It's just a matter of what do I want to dig today. So catch you in a little bit. Catch you on the next hole. Definitely back in the hot spot and just popped a goodie. Let's take a peek. Ooh, rhino turd on steroids. Love these three ringers. There were soldiers here. Oh, I love it. You just imagine 150 plus years ago. These guys were standing here. They were probably drinking out of the creek, fishing in the creek, washing their britches in the creek gotta love it unadulterated American history right there 200 yards from my house can't see it through the trees but it's right through the trees gotta love it yeah definitely found the hot spot dug one a couple feet behind me and yeah we got another one Boom, right there. Another Civil War three ringer. Gotta love it. Oh. Alright, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start what's called a spiral pattern. And I'm gonna start from this spot. And I'm gonna spiral out slowly and work my way in a big circle. Not so fast that you get dizzy, but that could be fun. But uh, yeah, so let's go see if we can find some more. See you on the next one. All right, still on a good spot. Uh, it's been a little bit since I got the last bullet, but I got another target, and it's not a bullet this time, but it's more evidence of occupation. Big chunk of spoon. I almost wonder if that goes to the handle I found yesterday. That's a big hunk and plated spoon. But we'll clean it up with the rest of the stuff and uh, show you in the wrap up. Alright folks, so I had been working way over there, started not getting much anything but trash. So I decided to come across the field a little bit and start working in a different little area. And boom, got an old brass ring. Definitely not a machinery part or, or something like that. This was this was somebody's wedding band. That is so cool. So I know there's more out here. Let's go find some more. All right, still pounding some relics here. Got a nice little uh, buckle. It's broken, but uh, hey, we go in the relic box. Buckle's a buckle, right? We got another good target. Um, it's not mini ball, but it is lead. Musket ball. The original rhino turd. Gotta love them. But, it's a good sign. So, we're gonna keep trucking along. And catch up with you on the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the close of another day. Another dig. Another video. Um, but let's take a look at what we found, and I'll go over it with you. 
it was a pretty decent day. Um, spoon, I think it belongs to the handle that I dug yesterday in the last video. Um, it's got a hallmark. I'm going to research the hallmark. Buckle. Brass ring. Nice little piece of pottery. This is really cool. This is a handmade fishing weight. This is vintage. That's very cool. Too many balls. Fired musket ball. I did not film that. That was the very last target I dug of the day. Um, it wasn't super impressive. So I didn't film it. But now, on to more important things. I'm making myself some dinner. I'm home alone. It's going to be fun. I'll try not to kill myself. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Get out, have a good time, enjoy yourself. Just get out and find your treasure. See you on the next one. Mmm, burger. This is what happens to the rhinos that leave rhino turds in my fields. I make rhino burgers. Delicious. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am back out across the road from the house. <laughs> Joss is out having coffee with a friend of hers, um, lady she used to work with. And I got a couple hours of free time. So you guys get to watch me dig stuff up out of the ground. Sounds fun. All right, now I do have something fun though, so let's check it out. Ooh. Another three ringer. We're still here. I love it. Absolutely love it. So I am running the Knox 800 today on multi frequency. Uh, Field one, I believe, with 50 tones. So, and I am running. Shameless plug for Patriot headphones, but sound was crisp on this this target. It was a solid, solid 18 on the VDI. Um, all right. Well, if I get anything else, I'll get back at you. So, catch you on the next one. See you in a bit. Bye. Absolutely ridiculous. This is awesome. Back to back like I just dug that one right there and I am right here and boom we got another one I want to know where the buttons are where are the eagle buttons I would like some eagle buttons today please but I will take bullets so somebody commented in the last I think well one of the last couple videos that came out these rings are created when the rhino <laughs> pushes really hard so that's why this rhino turd has rings <laughs> he's probably squatting as hard as my dog in my logo <laughs> it's hysterical all right I'll catch you on the next one and the hits keep on coming. Oh my, like seriously. One, two, three. Oh, this is awesome. One eagle button though would be nice. Oh, I love it. Civil War history. Right in the palm of my hand. This could be you. If you don't metal detect, you should be doing this, holding history and saving it. Oh, I love it. So I moved out of the area where I was finding the three ringers because I can always go back to that little spot. Um, down at the other end of the field here, we were finding some older stuff, some flatware, buttons, things like that. And I do believe I just got a musket ball. It's pretty ate up. It's in rough shape. But it was definitely a musket ball. So that's cool. All right, hopefully we we'll find some more good stuff. And uh, if I get anything else, I will get back to you. See you in a bit. Later. All right, another mind-blowing spectacular on this, uh, this dig here. Um, just a weedy, but it's an old coin. I'll take it. 
1920 something I want to say 21 maybe I don't know pretty sure it's 21 anyway focus camera doesn't want to focus today that's all right well in any case it's a weedy if I get anything else spectacular I'll get back at you sit Julie sit <laughs> good Julie